emotion out of this Washington State Cougar team. And you speak of emotion, here it comes. Washington coming onto the field. Headed to their fifth Rose Bowl under Don James. And James is 12 and 4 against the Cougars of Washington State in his 17 years. There's a scent of roses here in Husky Stadium as they head to Pasadena on New Year's Day. It's the Apple Cup, and Washington has won the last two, including last year's 55 to 10 win. That was a record for points scored in this series. We'll be back. It's the cats and the dogs against each other. The kickoff in just a moment. So Hobart will bring the Huskies up across the 30. Just underway in this one. 13.08 to go in the first quarter. Hobart, play action fake. Got a lot of time. Going deep to McKay. He's behind him. McKay's got it at the 25. He's going to go all the way. Orlando McKay, touchdown, 69 yards. Gary, so much for my theory about Washington trying to pound it out on the ground. They go to the air a couple of times. Right here, great play action, holds the linebackers. And then number four, Landon McKay, gets behind number 10, John Rushing. Beats him, and it's a sprint to the end zone. Washington State has a history, a reputation for always coming into this game with something new to surprise the, the Huskies. And the coach said on offense, there'll be a lot of motion trying to disguise what they're about to do. They have a trips formation, top of the field. Bledsoe in trouble. Jaime Fields has got him. Down he goes. That's the 42nd sack of the year for this Husky team. He just can't take that much time. I'm surprised he had as much time as he did as he lost five on the play. Well, you... Second and goal from the four. Matt Jones, a fullback in motion. Play action. Complete. Darius Turner, touchdown, Washington. <laughs> Darius Turner's had a lot of back trouble this year. The junior coming up with his first touchdown catch of the year. Which is 34 points coming into this game, and they've been able to keep them under control. Let's all going to be buried. Oh, Donald Jones unloaded on him. Second sack of the game. That just shows you again, those linebackers run so well. That's what Don James started to recruit at speed. He had big, strong guys. Now Lenny's got big, strong guys who are fast. Ever since I was in college, that was a wrap on the Washington Huskies. Big, but not very fast. And you look at Donald Jones, and he's 6'1", about 230. He's not the big guy, but he's got some great speed, very strong. Wow. Down, but that's what he did. Bobo split to the near side on the third and 19. Bledsoe back. Got time. Throwing, and it is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Walter Bailey. Bailey to the 10. He is going to take it in. Touchdown, Washington. Seven yards, and Bailey with his seventh interception of the year. Third down five now from the 20. Brunel getting hit as he releases the ball. Bailey wide open, touchdown. His 16th of the year. I tell you, Brunel got hit very hard, but he stayed in there. 20-yard touchdown pass. Well, you know, they came out. They set up for a pass. They had the blitz on. Perfect play called. Bailey all alone in the end zone. Looked like he said they enjoyed it. <laughs> when are you going to get me in a play or a TV or a movie or something? Yeah, yeah how about the whole crew? Yeah, if you all good to me someday, you know, <laughs> I'll, I'll call you up. Third and nine now. Bledsoe is going to be sacked for a safety. Jaime Fields got him. Look at these guys. Are they something? Jaime Fields almost untouched. That's his second sack of the day. Well, they're one 
a three on two point conversions, but they came back and helped that by getting the safety here. This is what I meant about it being a scary place to be. He backs up in his own end zone. Jaime's coming all the way on the blitz, and he gets there in a hurry. Now take a look, another angle. This Husky team, they're playing more than just for the Apple Cup here, Jerry. They yes, want to make are. a statement about how good they are. When people are voting for the national championship, they don't want them to look back and say, hey, you didn't handle this Washington State Cougar football team. You know, they made it tough to the receiver to the outside and picks up the easy yardage. With that catch now, McKay has five for 110 yards. And, of course, the big one of the day, a 69-yard touchdown. Holbert, pitch back to Bryant. Ryan to the 20. He's going to take it. He's in. Touchdown. And with a move like that, you see his quickness. <laughs> 29. Make that 21 yards for Bryant. Novell and Kennedy through the key blocks. And it's a 34 to 7 game. 731 left in the third. I'm Gary Bender along with Lynn Swan. Second rank Washington beating interstate rival Washington State 35 to 7. Bledsoe with the first down is in trouble. That'll be the fifth sack of the game. And give that one to the guy we were talking about earlier, Andy Mason. So there's just no chance for Bledsoe. Also, Tyrone Rogers is in on the play. And they just get in your face so quickly. Mike Fair goes in motion. So they have no running backs. He'll come set. Bledsoe looking, being chased out of the pocket, double pumping. He's going to run, now going to throw, end zone, intercepted. It's picked off by Tommy Smith. Here comes Smith. He's out to the 40. He could go. He could go all the way. This is his first interception of the year. He's to the 15, to the 10, and tackled with the 9. Gary? I think he was looking for Calvin Chuck Schneider, who was in the end zone, number six. Then the scramble looked like he was going to pop open. That will be an 86-yard interception return. As I mentioned, that is the first interception of the entire year for Tom. Yeah, Martina, all the records facing one of the young superstars in Monica Sellis. Jay Berry comes into the backfield on third and goal from the seven on the corner near side right open. Bailey! Did he get it? He yes. did. Touchdown! Oh, what a laid out catch that was. Seven yard touchdown. Take a look at Bailey. A little move to the inside. He cuts between a couple of people. Oh, John rushing number 10 was the man he beat. He got completely turned around. Look at how he lays out for this catch. Of the year, he had 158 yards against USC. The men of Troy had a tough time stopping him earlier this year. And they sure did. He took that ball the first drive. It was at 55 yards right up the middle. Touchdown. So they're going to have half the distance to the goal on this personal foul. They'll mark it just inside the nine-yard line. 10.43 left. Matt Jones, Jay Barry in the backfield. Here comes Barry, and there goes Barry for the touchdown. Donald Jones, because he came in, it was a non-contact drill. Brunel got squeezed between Hitman and Jones. Here's Brunel and running real well, bracing all on the option for the touchdown. Well, that matches the 55 points of last year. 11 and 0. Yep, 11 and 0. They'll be ranked number two. They're headed to Pasadena to meet the Wolverines of Michigan, and what a classic that should be. 892 yards in total offense. And Don James' team remains unbeaten as they defeat Washington State 56 to 21. We'll be back to wrap it up here from Husky Stadium when we return to Seattle in just a moment.